I'm Rob from Smart Boat Innovations. Thank you for joining me on this journey to transform your boat into a smart boat. To create our smart boat, I've selected Home Assistant, a popular open source software that is used for smart homes on land. I've customized it specifically for making our smart boat, making it the foundation of our system. In today's video, I will guide you through the initial steps of installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. Isn't it beautiful out here today? So here we are on my Windows 10 laptop. It could be your Mac, it could be a PC, it doesn't really matter. I have the micro SD card I'm going to use for the Raspberry Pi plugged into this laptop via a micro SD card reader. So the first thing we have to do is we have to download an app or some software which will then help us download the Home Assistant app. So we have to go to the Raspberry Pi main web page, which is www.raspberrypi.com slash software. Okay, and then here we scroll down, and this is what we need to download, this Raspberry Pi imager. Um, there's options for download Windows or download for Mac. So we click on download for Windows and we'll start downloading. On the rare occasions, this, uh, this doesn't work on your, on your, on your PC, it's Raspberry Pi Imager. There's another imager you can use, it's called the Balena Etcher. I'm not going to cover that because I didn't quite like it. It's very large and had problems with it, but it's another way you can download their Home Assistant image. Okay, so it's downloaded. Now we have to run this executable. And here we just select all the defaults and it should install quite quite fast okay we run the pi image on, on finish so here on the left we have to need to choose under the operating system we have to choose os operating system and we scroll down until we find this this one other specific purpose os so we click on that and then further down, it says home assistance and home automation. This is what we need. Even though we have a boat, it's still our home. So we click on that and then scroll down and you'll see the home assistant and you'll see this icon, this blue icon, which you'll get quite familiar with. Click on that. Now it has two images you can download, one for a Raspberry Pi 4 and one for a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, select which one you have. I have a Raspberry Pi 4, so we'll download this one. Okay, then we need to go to storage. We have to select the micro SD card. Click on that and it usually will display the external storage you have plugged in. In this case, it's just one, but just double check the storage is 31 gig over 32 gig micro SD card. So it's the right thing. We don't want to accidentally overwrite something else. So we click on that and then we go across to write. We want to, yes, everything will be erased. Yes. Now it does a preparation for write and it will write and this takes some time, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depends on your on your internet connection, the speed of your, your laptop. So we'll just sit here and wait. So once it's downloaded, it then goes through a verifying phase. So Windows might intervene here and ask you about formatting. So just select cancel for any prompts about wanting to format anything. It's already been done. Okay, so the next step is to take this micro SD card and plug it into our Raspberry Pi. I have a video on my channel which covers the Raspberry Pi and how to use the micro SD card. So if you haven't seen it, I would advise you to watch that video. And then after we've plugged it in, we need to connect the Raspberry Pi to our 4G LTE router. We do that via an ethernet cable. But I have another video which covers the 4G LTE router. Okay, so let's go plug in the card and connect the cable. Now, once we plug the micro SD card into the Raspberry, connected the ethernet cable, and then also plugged in the power supply, the Raspberry Pi will boot. And we need to leave this 
for a few minutes until we try to access the Raspberry Pi. So to access the, the Raspberry Pi with the Home Assistant, we just use a normal browser on, on the PC or laptop or Mac you're, you're using. And we go and type in the following. Home Assistant dot local colon 8123. And it will come up with the, the, the onboarding page. Um, as you can see, it's still saying it's preparing Home Assistant and it can take up to 20 minutes. So sometimes this address of homeassistant.local doesn't work. So then we need to access the Raspberry Pi with its IP address. Uh, I covered that in the video for the 4G LTE router, how to find the IP address, but let's just have a look here and I'll show you how you can find it. So let's go to the router. So on the front page, you can see you have wireless clients and wired clients. Since we plugged the Raspberry Pi in with an Ethernet cable, it's going to come under the wired clients. So we click on here, scroll down, and then we can see the name Home Assistant and the IP address is, is this one here, 192.168.1.101. So that's the IP address at the moment for your Raspberry Pi. So then if we go back and use that IP address here, and with the port 8123. So all we've done is change homeassistant.local for this IP address. And here we are, we've come back to the Home Assistant. It's actually finished the preparation and we're on the on the front page for the onboarding. So on this onboarding page, we need to enter our basic information. Uh, for this, I'll put the name, Captain, Captain Rob. Uh, username can be Rob. Uh, password is a good one. Okay, then create account. Um, then it's asking for the name of your home assistant installation. So we're going to put our put our boat name in here. Put my boat, or here I'm just going to call it innovation. So it's just asking us some basic information: country, language, time zone, etc. Let's just put something in here. I'll put let's put Australia. Uh, language English. Time zone for the Sydney. Elevation zero, we're water level. Uh, the unit system is metric, currency, uh, Australian dollar. Okay, the next, as always, don't select anything. Next. And here it's come up with a few, few devices. And we just click finish. We've successfully installed our smart boat app, which is Home Assistant on the Raspberry Pi. Well done. In future videos, we'll set up the sensors and the virtual switches. We'll integrate the boat instruments, set up secure remote access, install the companion app on our smartphone or tablet. And then we'll, we'll just slowly build up our smart boat system. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego!